y'all act like my life is so your life. Like you just know every fucking thing about me. But you don't. I am the nicest, caringest person you'll ever fucking meet. So a hotel room. But I finally got up and I started loving on him. And then I was trying to give him a hickey because he was a virgin and he never had a hickey before. So I was giving him a hickey and he was like, quit biting me. And I'm like, I'm not biting you. And he was like, yeah, you are. So I bit him. And I, I was like, that's wicked. <laughs> happened let me just get you up to speed not too long ago amy had posted a video on her youtube channel talking about how her sister was in the hospital on her deathbed and was basically being kept alive by machines and she's unresponsive she's just literally a vegetable that's it she asks her subscribers to please help in any way they can to help pay for a larger casket to fit tammy in because tammy is morbidly obese i'm not trying to be an asshole i'm stating a fact 
She also says that the money will be spent on other funeral expenses. But we won't be spending it on anything but the funeral. I just wanted to clarify that. The money that y'all donated, I'm going to leave in there or I'm going to take it up to the funeral home where it can build interest. I probably will take it to the funeral home and let it build interest. So if something does happen, we have that as a backup plan. However, within maybe a few days of that video being posted and after a couple of days of people donating money to this cause, out of nowhere, a new video is uploaded to the channel in which we see Tammy and Amy both sitting by their kitchen table, bullshitting, laughing, eating chips, drinking soda, basically doing things that I really wouldn't think a person who is just on their deathbed would be doing. It's Amy, and um, I want to say, first off, I have seen the video about me, and me and Ashley has talked, and I re revealed the truth, and this is me coming clean with not only Ashley, but all of you guys. The money that y'all donated for Tammy when she was in the hospital, I gave it to my mother, who paid bills with it. Tammy's bills. Now, regardless if that's what she used the money for or not, that's what I did with it. I gave it to my mother, who paid bills. Now, if you want your money back, I'll be gladly to give it back. And if you give me a confirmation number, email, I'll give you the money back. Because I'm not like that. I do not take money very lightly. So, let's start with the Honest Truth video because I feel like that's the best place to start. Starting with the fact that in that video, you talked about me like I was your best friend. Like, I was, we're good as friends. I'm not mad at you anymore. There's no drama involving the situation anymore. But, honey, that is so incredibly far from the truth. Because every single time I hear the words Amy Slayton get brought up anywhere, a deep, burning rage builds up inside of me because of what you've done to not only me, but everyone else who felt bad for you and your family because of what you told us, saying that your sister was incredibly sick on the edge of death to the point where you made a GoFundMe for her casket, Amy. And that never, ever came out to be true whatsoever. Let's be honest here. What's the very first thing you hear most people ask to any charity when they donate money? Well, how do I know my money's really going to go to that, that charity? How do I know these clothes are really going to go to that third world country? The minute you were called out on the whereabouts of the money, the very first thing you did was pass the blame right to your poor mother, who I'm pretty sure has no fucking clues this is even going on. You said, well, when I got the money, I gave it to my mom and she paid the bills. So if she doesn't have the receipts, it's not my fault. This is not my situation to be involved in. That's essentially what you said when that is complete bullshit. You are a grown ass woman. You are an adult. I am pretty sure you're older than I am and you are still putting the blame on your mother and using your mom to cover your mistakes and your ass and your lies. Instead of having to keep adding on to the mile long web of lies you've already made, why don't you just tell the truth? Come out and just say, hey, I fucked up. The GoFundMe was fake. I used it for things I shouldn't have used it for. I don't have proof. I'm tired of the lies. I'm human. I made a mistake. Forgive me. Lastly, I want to call bullshit on your proof because, quite frankly, you have not shown us any proof. The only thing you've shown us was that you paid two random people back. Out of the however many people who donated to you, you paid two people back. And quite frankly, Amy, if you were to come up with some miraculously somehow come up with proof of actual proof of that money going to those bills and it all added up at the end of the day, I can guarantee you 
most of those people, including myself, wouldn't want our money back. Because if it really did go to medical bills that went to Tammy, then at least it went to something that was related to Tammy's health. However, the only thing you've shown us was that you paid two people back and you had some busted ass fucking social security envelope thing that you showed. And that was your proof. That was what you thought was proof enough. I know I've been wrong. I should not throw receipts away. But in my head, I wasn't thinking, well, these receipts might come to bite me in the ass. You know, I wasn't thinking that. I'm a, it was a simple mistake. You're trying to extort me with this whole scamming bullshit uh, and get me to give you my money. If he can forgive me, why can't y'all? I mean, y'all probably have done worse stuff than I have. So I subscribe and I subscribe to her busted ass YouTube channel. Well, guess what? She did a video called, uh, I think it was like this, about this product right here. Dollar Tree Makeup Wipe. Well, I got me three, Miss Thing. I got me the blue one, the pink one, and the liquid one. So I had used this product for literally a few days, and guess what happened? Look! Look! I freaking broke out Amy Slayton! You lied to me! You're mad!